Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Carmen Estella, and today we've got an important mukbang. Hey guys, welcome. So happy to have you here today. We are doing a small mukbang. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about today, how important it is. I hope you guys went to go vote. And then um, I hope that I can just, you know, convince one person and that'll make my day. Um, so let's eat. Um, let's talk a little bit um, how our, how my experience was and what happened and all that good stuff. So um, maybe I need a little bowl. Hold on, let me grab a little bowl, y'all. Now, y'all, I went last minute, obviously, but um, it doesn't matter as long as you go. So um, make time for that. Go get that done. It's very, very important. Um, I love you all, and I just want your guys' voices to be heard, too, you know? Everyone deserves that, for their voice to be heard. So that is it. Um, it, was, it was a really chill crowd. That, that we had. I already said grace. This is this is um, salmon. They were even handing out pizza like a pizza owner. Um, a pizza shop owner dropped off 20 boxes of pizza for everyone. But I was fasting and it was like early, it was like 10 a.m. So obviously I wasn't craving pizza at the time, but it's one, almost two o'clock. So I had to grab something. I was starving. We waited in line. For like an hour and a half um so i'm starving i wanted to get something small i'm gonna take a thumbnail Um, because I'm making a delicious lasagna pasta. If I don't get called in work, I'll do a mukbang on that. But I saw Yummy Bites. She did it. And I was like, I haven't made lasagna in forever. And I'm craving it. So that's what we're having tonight. And um, so I'm just grabbing, I just grabbed the sushi real fast to snack on. Because that's not till like later on I'm going to make. And my boys are asleep. Cyrus and Tommy, they are exhausted But Cyrus did good for hanging out for two hours. I mean, we were outside and the weather was beautiful. So he wasn't doing a lot of running around, but I was super. Um, let me see what these are. Chef sampler. Mm. Well, I'll tell you guys. They look like rainbow rolls with um, crab, imitation crab in there. So anyways, he did good. He was chilling. Um, so that's, that's all that matters, right? We were gonna, we were gonna go while he took a nap and you guys know my stepson, he's 14. He would have been home, you know, doing the schoolwork. 
but the line was long and we didn't want to, we thought it, we we're just going to be able to go in and out, but the lines were long. So we just took them with us and <sighs> the voting place is so close to our house. We literally just walked. So he had a good time, went for a nice walk and went to go be part of a historic um, election. So. Well, shifting over to another topic. Did y'all see that Beyonce is going to retire from the music industry? Mm. I'm a little heartbroken about that. Um, but ma'am, she has put so much out there, so you can't really be mad at her. She's done so much for the, you know, music industry and the community. I mean, she's a legend, so. Mm. Oh, this is how he got me. This is perfect hit the spot. I'm not gonna be cooking till like four or five. So So yeah, I saw that. Um, <clears throat> I also I may be I may be late, but I also saw um, Tamara Braxton. She finally spoke out. She had an interview, um, and I felt like it was just too soon to you know come out and talk about like you trying to commit suicide. Like, kept saying like I'm good I'm good it's like mm -mm, that takes like a lot of therapy a lot of time like I don't know it was just like a little too soon I felt like when I saw the interview I was like no you still need more time sis to get better and stay out the media like she kept saying she was done with reality tv and media and, and television and it was like, yeah, you should probably stay away for a little bit because I never watched um, her family show. But I saw some clips of it and it just didn't seem really positive, but nowadays all reality shows are. But, um, I mean, I get what she's saying. Like, she don't want to be portrayed as what the show is making her, you know, portray and all that. But I would definitely stay away from just not the show from every everywhere. Just stay away. Get off social media. Seems like her identity is kind of like crisscrossed and she doesn't really know who she is. And I get it. Like, she's been in the limelight for many years um, and television and stuff. So... I've seen a few clips and she doesn't look happy in the most of the clips I've seen. Uh, like I said, I haven't watched that show at all. So I guess the clips, they're probably going to point out the negatives more, but... Um, She just, she's probably just confused and lost about her identity on that show because she has to portray some way and then she had to be some type of way with her fiance and then some other type of way with the world. And 
how do you know who you are yourself, you know, when you're juggling all those identities? So. Hopefully she figures herself out. And, um, <clears throat> and I would, like I would say, if I were her, just stay away from like social media and, um, and TV and just everything until you figure, you really figure everything out. And that's all I can ever, uh, <clears throat> advice I can ever say. Guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so, so, so much for all my new subscribers. And I love it, I love it. You guys have been showing me love. I'm so grateful, I'm so appreciative. Take care of yourself and your mental health. Until the next time, bye.